Thank you for watching this presentation on restoring water quality in Canisius and Honeyoy Lakes. The purpose of this presentation is to introduce the Total Maximum Daily Load, or TMDL process, which we are just beginning for these lakes. My name is Steve Gladding with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation Division of Water. We are making this recording available to supplement an initial public meeting which was held on December 15, 2014. This presentation will consist of four parts. The first part will be a general introduction to TMDLs, or Total Maximum Daily Loads. Next, we will discuss some of the specifics of the TMDL pro development process with respect to both Honeyoy and Canisius Lakes. Parts 3A and 3B will cover some of the specific data, reports, and water quality information we have for each lake. If you're only interested in one lake or the other, you only need to view that presentation. The goal of part one is, of this presentation is to provide a general introduction to TMDLs and what they seek to accomplish. The concept of the TMDL begins with section 303D of the Clean Water Act, which requires states to maintain a list of water bodies which do not meet water quality standards. This list is referred to as the 303D list of impaired waters. Once a water body is placed on the 303D list, states are required to develop TMDLs or other clean water plans to address the impairment. The ultimate goal of the TMDL is to restore a water body such that it meets water quality standards. Water bodies can be listed as impaired for violating any of the state's water quality standards. Some of the causes of impairment we see in New York are due to fish consumption advisories, often due to metals or organic pollutants, shellfish enclosures, often due to pathogens, bathing beach closures, again, often due to pathogens, but also to harmful algal blooms and water clarity, and other monitoring results which indicate high levels of nutrients, increased turbidity, or high levels of toxic compounds in the sediments. In New York, there are approximately 7,600 lakes and ponds and approximately 7,000 streams and rivers. Monitoring has identified more than 700 of these water bodies which do not meet water quality standards and are therefore on the state's 303D list of impaired waters. Of the water bodies on the 303D list, 162 of these listings are related to phosphorus. So what exactly is a TMDL, or Total Maximum Daily Load? A TMDL is required when a water body does not meet water quality standards. The TMDL defines the ability of that water body to absorb the pollution of concern and still meet water quality standards and then it establishes a plan to reduce the pollutant loading. So the, TM the TMDL really serves as a clean water blueprint. The first step is to identify and quantify the sources of pollutant. We need to understand where the pollutant is coming from and how much of it is there now. Second is, is to determine how much of that pollutant the water body can absorb without violating water quality standards. Once we know how much of the pollutant is being delivered now, and how much we would like to reduce that down to, we can establish a plan for bringing about those reductions. In many cases, the reductions are assigned to the different sources that were identified. For these TMDLs, we also wanted to make sure that the end product meets EPA's requirements for the nine element watershed plan. The US EPA has identified the nine minimum elements they consider critical to successful watershed plans. We want to make sure we are addressing all of the elements in these TMD TMDLs, particularly since EPA is tying a lot of funding eligibility to having these funds in place. 